वेलकम टू फौजी फर्टिलाइजर बिन कासिम लिमिटेड आई एम लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल अनीस अहमद अब्बासी चीफ एग्जेक्टिव एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर FFBL's mission is to be a premier organization focused on quality and growth leading to enhanced stakeholder value. FFBL Fertilizer Complex is a manufacturing facility with advanced distribution control system for safe and efficient operation. Forgy Fertilizer Bin Qasim Limited plant site is a modern granular urea and diammonium phosphate DAP fertilizers manufacturing complex. built at a cost of 468 million US dollars and located in the eastern zone of Bin Qasim Karachi In this presentation we will be covering a brief success history our safety and security measures our state of the art plant our professional teams and finally our vision and plans for the future Let us begin with an overview of our history This company was uh, an extension of Fauji Fertilizer Company from the beginning and I uh, think by the end of 1990s they decided to do away with the and they made a different company which was then called FJFC which was Fauji Jordan Fertilizer Company Since then we have gone through a very interesting and amazing journey We started off in a business Uh, where we started commercial production in a downturn at that time all the policies and the all the most of the workforce was actually hired or uh, brought over from Fauji Fertilizer Company in the last 8 years uh, we've seen this company go through a very amazing uh, turnaround in by the end of 2009 resulted in a cumulative profit after tax of over 19 billion this uh, is i think Uh, phenomenal uh, considering uh, what uh, the company started off and uh, how it has uh, ended up today we can now see the fruits of our strategic efforts in the form of our state of the art setup Actually FFBL was conceived in 1993 uh, at we were finishing up plant 2 at uh, FFC Goat Mahi Sadgabad uh, they thought of bringing up uh, putting up a DAP and an ammonia urea plant in Karachi uh, in the in this process we got a good bargain in America there was an old plant uh, at Lake Charles which was uh, shut down in an emergency and it was sort of available at scrap value in the process it took a long time to uh, bring the plant over here and assemble it here at Karachi and uh, in fact the commercial production for ammonia plant was uh, declared on 1st january 2000 and subsequently ammonia and urea plants uh, the urea and dp plants were started up the ammonia unit is based on the bron process engineered by bechtel further plant production is enhanced through the engineering guidelines provided by halder tipo Its nameplate capacity was 1270 million tons per day. We implemented the ammonia BMR in 2007 and alhamdulillah we have been able to achieve all our target set. Fauji Fertilizer Bin Qasim Limited has a urea plant of 1670 metric tons per day in capacity. The process is truly fascinating. Carbon dioxide gas from ammonia plant is compressed at the CO2 compressor and then it is introduced into the high pressure carbon compressor via high pressure stripper. On the other hand, ammonia is introduced from high pressure ammonia pump to high pressure carbon compressor through ejector. In high pressure carbon compressor, carbamate formation takes place. This carbamate along with unreacted gases is sent to the urea reactor. Mm -hmm. 
We are proud to inform that FFBL is the only fertilizer complex in Pakistan, producing DAP fertilizer, thus making significant contribution towards agricultural growth of the country. By meeting 45% of the demand of the domestic market. DAP plant brought to suspension in 2001 due to accumulated loss of rupees 6.5 billion. The world market for DAP was uh, in a bad shape, so we were basically not making much money on DAP. So the company was in a dire uh, situation. At that time, the government of Pakistan stepped in and we asked them to bail us out. They gave us a loan of about 6 billion rupees. In the process, FSC also gave us uh, about 6 billion rupees. And uh, did, along with this money and the rescheduling of the loans in 2002 in Paris Club, that turned down the situation for the company and uh, it uh, put us back in, in the blue after that. ITET was started in June 2008 with the budget of 215 million rupees. The idea materialized after FFBL successfully completed its BMR of ammonia, revamping of DAP plant and operational activities were settled. The management of FFBL then proactively took the decision to make information technology. SAP has been uh, a very personal favorite project of mine. We started this project uh, last year and uh, inshallah we intend to complete the second quarter of uh, this year, uh, 2010. It will automate uh, all our areas and bring in a product uh, which is going to provide a new level of uh, automation and information availability. One of the milestones in the success of FFBL is its accreditation of ISO certification for both the head office and plant site. Uh, we are certified uh, for three standards. One is quality management, we call it 9001. And the second one is environmental monitoring, that is 14001. The third one is about safety, that is OSAS 18001. OSAS standard, in fact, this is the latest edition in the series of standards. This is about the human safety, and uh, in fact, this deals with the plant safety and other safety aspects also. This is the latest edition to the standards. When we talk of quality management standard that deals with the customer satisfaction, that also relates with these processes working in the system and all the intermediate steps, ultimately they lead towards a quality product. The most fundamental thing that you will find in all our work and operations is our key focus on health and safety. We have uh, many procedures regarding safe working practices. We have general safety rules. We have work permit procedures. I feel very safe here. So I think the security is very high, very good here in this plant. This is not done by having a separate health and safety division, but by integrating it in all our work processes across different units. I come back to my experience in the last uh, 30 years. What I find here, let me say it on this way, it's like a German standard. Our industrial clinic is providing health cover to the FFBL workforce and their dependents, in line with their company medical policy. A total strength of over a thousand persons of various shades and categories along with their dependents draw on the company health benefits through the ages of industrial clinic. Around 35 persons report daily to the industrial clinic to seek medical advice and allied health facilities. Every division has its own unique environmental monitoring processes and they all work together to create a safer and more environmentally friendly work zone. The laboratory is equipped with the latest expensive equipment 
to carry out physical and chemical tests of water and air samples collected by the field teams. This is done to keep everyone properly informed on all matters pertaining to operation and quality control aspects. Free medical camps are organized by industrial clinic on a weekly basis. We are contributing uh, quite substantially uh, towards various philanthropic organizations, various hospitals, schools, uh, healthcare centers throughout the country. But we are particularly uh, emphasizing and concentrating on area around our plant site. There are villages uh, around the plant site where we are uh, providing medical care, health care and education to uh, the poor people. There is an average turnover of 200 patients on these occasions. Medicines worth approximately 25,000 rupees are consumed on a single day. The emergency response team is well equipped with state-of-the-art fire brigades, ambulances, communication systems and 24-7 personnel. The team goes through regular drill and scenario exercises to keep them prepared and alert for unforeseen problems. vision is to be a leading fertilizer company with a diverse product base. The diversification has been one of the hallmarks. Uh, we've been trying to diversify and get into other sectors of this thing. Urea or fertilizer has been our base, uh, base product and the core business has been fertilizer. But since then we are now looking to diversification and I hope in the next few years uh, we hope to have uh, other plants in other fields like energy and uh, production of other commodities. We are looking at investing in uh one thermal and three uh, wind uh, power projects uh, in collaboration with Fauji Foundation. Our uh, emphasis definitely is uh, to uh, grow and provide uh, opportunities for our uh, people and to add value to our shareholders. We have a very dedicated workforce and we found that uh, our best source for people has been when we hire fresh graduates. We pick up the best lot from the universities and the, from technical institutes. We, do, do, we have extensive training system over here. And by the time they are useful in the system, I mean, they are really doing good I mean, to maintain those international standards. The main uh, success element behind FFBL's success basically has been the management itself, the management, the way it has supported the plant. And then it has gone forward in a bold way for the uh, debottlenecking and making the plants more reliable. Let me say it on this way, I travel since approximately 30 years around the world and the experience I have here is very well good. To remain among the best companies for delivering competitively priced quality products, achieving sustainable growth rate in all activities and generating optimum profits for the satisfaction of all stakeholders. Companies that uh, want to make their niche in the industrial sector of the country must grow. And uh, as I highlighted earlier, uh, in growth we have the option of growing within our core business or else to diversify in other sectors. We are looking at various projects but our aim is definitely to grow and uh, make sure that this growth encompasses uh, the uh, employees that we have, the manpower, the trained manpower that we have, 
we take care of, uh, we, we make sure that we uh, make use of these, uh, this manpower to, uh, to invest in other industries. This concludes our corporate video presentation. We covered the fascinating world of our plant, the health and safety aspects of our work, and finally, we got a glimpse of how we will move into the future. We hope that you will feel motivated enough to join us on our journey to make Pakistan and its diverse community sets a prosperous and progressive nation. Thank you.